The examination for discovery is a very important pretrial hearing. The examinations for discovery take place after the statement of claim has been issued and served, and after the statement of defense, which is the other side's response to the lawsuit, is filed and served. The person suing is called the plaintiff, and we act on your behalf. At the examination for discovery, you're going to be questioned by the people on the other side. In a car case, you'll be questioned by the lawyer appointed by the insurance company to defend the person who caused the accident. The examination for discovery process is very important. You'll be prepared or briefed about the discovery process, both in writing, with a letter outlining what to expect, and also your evidence will be reviewed with you prior to the discovery so that you're comfortable, informed, and understand what the process is all about. The last thing we want, and I think any lawyer would ever want, is for a client to feel nervous, unsure, and unconfident about the litigation process. So we take the time to make sure that you understand about the examination for discovery and we review your evidence with you. The examination for discovery is important. You must be truthful. You must be honest at all times. And you must make sure you only answer the question asked of you and do not volunteer information. The other side is not your friend. They're there to provide, they're there to obtain information about the case. Your role is to make sure you provide the information truthfully, forthrightly. But you do not have to go beyond the four corners of the question asked. If you're asked about the weather, you can say whether it was raining or it was sunny or it was foggy or it was snowing. You don't have to start talking about what you've done that day, what time you woke up in the morning, or any other irrelevancy. You just simply answer what's asked of you and nothing more. If the lawyer has any follow-up questions, then you, of course, answer them. But the role in discovery is this. The insurance company lawyer, at least in the context of a car case, will size you up. What type of witness you'll make? Are you credible? Are you believable? Will you be sympathetic in front of a judge or a jury? These are very important questions. These are very important functions of the examination for discovery. We encourage our clients to, first of all, come to the discovery dressed appropriately, well rested, and eager to answer the questions that are asked. That's what makes a very effective discovery. The client is informed, the lawyer takes the time to review the documents involved in the case, the nature of the case, and the history. In a personal injury lawsuit, it's important that your lawyer and at Bogrash and Associates will ensure that you understand your medical history, will review with you your previous medical history because we'll have records from your doctors and we'll have your clinical notes and records or the clinical notes and records from your treating physicians and we'll make sure you understand your own medical history. What happens in cases and when, where cases don't proceed well or go as well as they should is because a client isn't briefed as thoroughly as he or she should be. At Bogrash and Associates, I and my team of lawyers will ensure that you're properly and fully briefed about the discovery process. Cases, in my view, are won or lost how well the client does on discovery. And for that matter, we take the time and we spend the time to make sure you're fully prepared. Many of our clients have difficulty with the English language. They're new to this country. They don't feel comfortable speaking in English. Don't worry. Court accredited interpreters will be provided not only for the briefing to make sure that you understand the questions that are likely going to be asked, but also when you give your evidence, we'll provide appropriate translators, interpreters necessary for you to give your evidence in a way which you understand.